Hey guys, Rich Pacin here from Let's Talk eBay. Today I want to talk about selling with the eBay app. I got three windows open up and I want to share with you really quick. For those of you who don't have the eBay app, you may want to put it on your cell phone. Especially if you're going thrifting at your local thrift store, you might want to look things up prior to making a purchase. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, I received this email this morning. I clicked it on and said sell it with the eBay app, but there's two other windows I want to share with you. I will drop the links down to each one in case you want to read more into it. Um, over here, as you can see here, um, it's got the, you can download it for Android, uh, iPad, and the iPhone. But being I use an iPhone 8, I'm going to click on the iPhone here, and it's going to bring up this window here when you get to this window it's going to be the screenshots iPad iPhone iMessage we're going to click on iPhone and you're going to see it over here it says treat yourself it's got to save time free shipping sell safely all right now we want to find out now what you want to know I should say is if you do have the app on your phone like I had I had the older version uh, it was the 6.60 6.660 something like that this one here is the version right here. if you want to check it out you click on the version history and you'll see it's the see yeah, this is the one I have right here 6.660 this is the new one okay so it even gives you a little notification here hello eBay customers please update your app now to make the most of your eBay experience enjoy the latest features and more okay so if you want to read more on the ratings and reviews, it seems like it's got a five-star rating here so far, four on this one. You could check it out if you choose to do so at your own leisure. Now, I'm going to go to that in a little bit. We're going to do a screen share. I'm going to show you my phone, you know, uh, my screen here, how to change it and how to update it. Again, this is basically for the newbies, all right? But here's another window I want to share with you guys over here. This is using the eBay app. And now I'm going to give you the uh, URLs to all three of these windows over here. And I got another one here. Okay, this one right over here. It says upgrade your shopping experience with the eBay app. And over here it's got simplicity, daily deals, special offers, price notifications. Okay. And you could read a little more into it. It breaks it down a little. Like over here it says simplicity, as easy as one, two, three. Browse, choose, buy, make your desires, purchase in just three steps. Okay, browse trendy items, home and garden, power tools, parts and accessories, and so on and so forth. Okay, now I'm gonna to try to keep this as quick as possible because like I said again, I know you guys are busy and you don't want to, I don't want to take too much of your time. Now over here, if you have an Android phone, you can go over here to the Google Play Store here and just click, you know, just uh, take your barcode reader on your phone, click it on and it will bring you to that app. And here's one for the App Store. Like I said, it comes for Android and iOS systems. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna bump out of here and I'm gonna go do a screen share and I'm gonna talk a little about it. Um, there are some pros and cons with this app, okay? Now you're probably wondering what are the pros and cons? Well, for example, I'm gonna do a little, I am gonna show you an example of it in a little bit. Um, with some of the photos, when you're doing a photo image, like for example here, don't mind my squeaky chair, um, I, I did I did a photo on this here. These are Sony headphones, which are on eBay right now. This is no, this is not a segue. It is not a segue to get you guys to buy. But if you do want to buy it, you're more than welcome to. Anyway, um, I took a photo of these here with the eBay app, and it did bring you up like that. You know, it brought you to the uh, screen there, where you can see what they are selling for. The feature I wanted to show you is the uh, sold and completed listings. Now. It works with the barcode reader. Um, you'll be able to see that. And I'm going to show you in a little bit, but um, I do find it uh, as far as like the new version with this here a little. It's a little uh, sketchy, like not sketchy, but it's a little intimidating. Um, I was taking a picture of a hat. I have an Amazing Spider-Man hat, and it took me to a different hat. So I don't know if it's the algorithm. It could be. Because it's new, you know they got to perfect the bugs in there, or whatever. But um, I'm going to show you in a little bit, uh, you know what I'm referring to here. So let me bump out of this screen here, and I'm going to do a screen share of um, my iPhone. Okay, here we are with my iPhone, I'm doing a screen share here. And as you can see, I can move it back and forth over here. Um, if you have the old version on here and you, you're not familiar on how to get rid of the, uh, or I should say, remove the app, very easy. Hold your finger on the Phone here. I'll show you like this here if I could just hold it on here like this this is the one we want to get rid of right here the eBay app can you see it right there I don't know if you can see it. it's a little glary but anyway what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your finger on it like that and 
you're going to get a message going to come up like this here. It's going to say remove app. Okay, and so it's going to delete the app. Okay, once you delete it, it's off. Okay, next thing you want to do is go to the app store, and we're going to go over here and right over here, and we're going to just type in in the app store um, eBay. Do a search, and we want this one right here. I'm going to use my mouse over here to move it over. The one that says buy, sell, tech, home, and toys. You're going to click this little arrow down here. It's going to do its little spinning thing. And I'm going to show you how to check the versions on it. And then I'm just going to do very basic, um, you know, I want to show you how it works. Uh, as far as like what you want to do is see the completed sold ones okay all right once it's finished we're going to hit the open button okay i'm not going to sign in right now i'm just going to leave it as it is like this here because i don't want to go through the sign-in process at this point in time and what we're going to do is we're going to first off if you want to find out what your set what your latest version is on uh your, with your ebay app just go here and you see where my mouse cursor is moving here you want to hit settings Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down, and you can see right here, it says 6.661. That's the latest version. That's the one I received today, the email. That's what they was telling me about the new, uh, newer version. Okay, so let's go back here. Now, over here, you're going to see a little camera, okay? Now, they always say when you're taking pictures, move that mouse away. Uh, when you're taking pictures of items, like let's say you're in a thrift store, um, you could try place it somewhere where there's not too much other stuff and you know obscuring it or like in the background because it could be distracting I guess and when it takes a picture uh, when it does its search feature it might throw it off a little now I found sometimes using this program um, that it'll take to something totally different okay and then you got to go in and actually type it in you know the make the model whatever but anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the little camera here and it's going to ask you would like to access the camera you're going to say yes okay so now we got the camera here and i'm going to move this over here i got this connected to my wire here uh to my computer and i'm going to try to do it over here let's see without getting too much i'm going to put my desk here and let's see if i could do it this way here without too much other things in the way let's click it okay so now let's say here it says all right right now i'm going to say don't allow but you can see now it does bring up uh, these these other ones here now if you notice the little blue box says sort and filter okay when you click that on you're gonna see the things that's gonna come up here it's gonna come up condition price and you hit, hit show more and you're gonna have other things here now if you notice on this particular search you don't see the feature the one that says completed uh, listings and sold okay now if you go back over here to the filter again even if you try to refresh it it won't it won't do anything there's a little gear here this little gear right over here i gotta use my mouse to show you this one right here you're gonna click that on okay let's click it on and it's gonna say expand whoops let me go back over here i'm sorry guys that's we don't want that again here we go click that on and see over here it says expand all filters you're going to want to enable that so you're going to click that on now i'm not saying that's going to be a game changer it's definitely going to make it work but that's what you want to do anyway you could also lock and make the filters lockable too but let's go back over here and again let's do the filter now you notice you still don't see it here on this particular item okay you don't see this here now you might say okay so why is it so important that you want to see the completed and sold listings the reason why let me go back here the reason why you want to see the complete and sold listings, you want to see what they sold for. What you see here now, folks, is people like you and I, we're putting these in, we're just giving set prices here, okay? What you see here doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell for that. It depends. I'm not going to click on each one. If the person's firm and that's what they want, then that's it'll sit there until it sells for that. Um, they may have best offer. Now, you can see right over here with the top one, well, not the top one, right over here, this one he's got best offer for 12 bucks okay so you know if you want to, if you wanted to see if this thing was working properly you'd want to see what this thing actually sold for okay but right now even with the filter you can't really see that there okay you can look here you can see you can see as I'm scrolling down you don't see where it says uh, completed listings and sold all right so that's what happens sometimes with this type of uh, search okay 
All right, so again, you could get like a ballpark figure, but I'll be honest with you folks, looking at these things here, uh, just going up and down here, look at the prices, $685, $79.99, pre-owned, whatever. You know, um, it's nice to get an idea of what it actually sold for because you and I could put whatever prices we want in here. It doesn't mean we're going to get it, okay? All right, so now you might say, okay, so what's the next step now? All right, let's take this one over here. I purchased this item and I plan on doing a video on this uh, so if you ever want to check it out I'm going to talk a little about it and stuff like that but anyway um, this one here is purchased a while back and I am going to do a video on it and we're going to go by the barcode reader okay now we're going to try with the barcode reader all right so let's go over here click on the little camera let me just move my, my mouse cursor over here we're going to click this on right here now you notice over here you got the bar this is the barcode reader okay if you click it on it brings you to the camera so if you ever see it or you don't see it there don't take it that it disappeared it's because you got to enable it so when you hit the camera on then that enables the barcode reader okay so in this case we're going to uh, read the barcode over here for the Vimble 2 okay All right. so let's get our phone over here let's click on barcode reader and as you can see there's a little message that points over here it says at the bottom again where my mouse is over here it says point your camera at the barcode so we're going to do that and let's see what we get all right that was quick okay here you got it showed three so far right you got the one for $39.99 one for $45 and one for $69.99 oh and also $72.69 now remember I was referring to the filter so when you click on the filter it's going to say show more okay you're going to click that on and over here I'm on my mouse over here you're going to see two of them the ones that I was referring to earlier the completed items and the sold listings when you enable that you click the button on they both enable if you click either or okay you only have to click one of them I clicked on the sold items now they're both like that now they're showing you three results okay that that had sold so let's click that on and these are the ones that sold for the prices that you see here in green, $69.99, $39.99, and the other one was for $17, okay? Now, you're probably wondering, why am I, Why should I be interested in this here? Well, it gives you a ballpark figure. First, not only that, it lets you know what it actually sold for. A brand new one is selling for $69.99, okay? So right there should be a telltale sign saying, okay, if this guy is selling a brand new one for $69.99, I'm not going to buy a re well a refurbished one or let's say you pick, let's say I went to a thrift store and I picked this thing up here okay I picked this up and I got it for I don't know let's say ten bucks um, and it's used I'm not going to sit there and, and sell it for six nine nine dollars you can get a brand new one for six nine dollars basically how I just how I justify this here or use it for my to my own experiences is I gives me a ballpark figure of what I'm going to sell it for I always said in my in my other videos I used to say when it comes to pricing, I don't like to go too high and I don't like to go too low. I like to stay right in the middle. And sometimes, even in the middle, <laughs> you gotta bend a little, right? You gotta bend a little even in the middle. No, seriously, um, you do. You really do sometimes. And um, like I said again, these are the ones that you see here. These are sold, okay? Now this guy here, uh, the one for $69.99, he's got best offer. And usually if there's one that's sold, you'll take a little line there you know like in other words he took it even less than $69.99 okay and that one you can see the other one for $39.99 best offer that person didn't make anything you know make any offer on it as far as like ask for it cheaper um they do they have it there so but I'm just trying to tell you that's how you could gauge your pricing um if you're getting something that's used you don't want to you know sell you could try you can sell it for the $69.99 but I don't know if you're going to get it because people are shopping around you know what I'm saying me personally um, if somebody was selling a used one like this here uh, for that kind of price, I mean, you know, used for $69.99, I'd be shopping around. I'd go de definitely with a guy for $39.99. The one for um, $17, he's got bids on it, so he's got an auction. Okay, these guys here apparently are fixed prices here. Whenever you see bids, that means the guy is doing an auction. So he's up at three bids, he's like at $17 for it. And if I was into it where I really wanted to, I didn't want to wait for it, whatever, for the auction to be over, I would have went with the 
uh, because I am a little cons I am a conservative spender, so I don't really want to go too crazy with this here. But this one here, I got this for a good price. If you do like these videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. And if you want to be updated when I post out new videos, please hit that bell notification icon. My name is Rich Pacini. You're watching Let's Talk eBay. Today is July 3rd, 2022. Thanks again. And I just want to say before I close out, if you are thinking about selling on eBay or you are a seller on eBay, I'm wishing you guys all the best in sales. Until next time, good luck and bye-bye for now.